Welcome back to Buckeye TV. Unemployment is a topic on most people's minds nowadays. Some common questions most students ask to themselves are, what am I going to do when I graduate? And will I even be able to get a job? The period right after graduation for most students is a confusing time. Madeline Hawthorne takes a look at the higher rate of unemployment among young students. Following the 2009 Great Recession, unemployment rates have skyrocketed. But for college graduates, establishing a career is even harder. According to the Economic Policy Institute, about 8.5% of college graduates ages 21 to 24 were unemployed between April 2013 and March 2014. And just over 16% of college graduates are underemployed. I think any time that you have such a large graduate class like what we have here at Ohio State, I think there are going to be people who don't have a job um, in what they actually went to school for, but you know that comes with with over 50,000 students attending the Ohio State University and an over 8% unemployment rate for recent graduates, it is alarming for 2014 graduates. Reporting for Buckeye TV, I'm Madeline Hawthorne. There are many amenities at Ohio State that most students don't know about or use. Michael Trott explores the Ohio State golf courses. We're at the Ohio State Golf Club at the corners of Tremont and Kenny Roads in Upper Arlington, Ohio, just north and west of the Ohio State campus. If you are a student, alumni, faculty, staff, affiliate, or guest, you're more than welcome to come up and play on either one of the two 18-hole golf courses, hit balls at the driving range, or putt on one of the two putting greens. We also have a beautiful pro shop and a lovely restaurant for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. When you play around here, you play on the scholar course and you play on the day course. We actually play on both of the golf courses for the professional golf management program. For the professional golf management program, we have a goal to become professional golf um, of America instructors or golf professionals. And the, one of the tests that we have to take is a playing test, and the gray course suits that test better than the scholar course does. So when can you play here at the golf course? During the golf season, it's open seven days a week, uh, six days a week. We're closed on Mondays for outings. Um, and then through the winter, uh, Scarlet will eventually shut down at a certain period, determined by our superintendent. And Gray is open on a day to day basis, depending on, you know, obviously the weather. That sounds great. Now, if a student from Ohio State comes out here and wants to play golf, what does it cost the student? Uh, I believe it's 18 for Gray to walk and 30 for Scarlet. So the Scarlet is a bigger course, or what's the difference between the two? Uh, Scarlet is our championship course. It's a uh, longer, more difficult. Uh, it's, just a lot, it's the one that just got recently redone. Um, it's more for the uh, advanced player. Um, it was gray. is more of a relaxed, good time course. So. And thanks for taking a look at the Ohio State University golf course right here at Tremont and Kenny Roads, just northwest of the Ohio State University. Reporting for Buckeye TV News, this is Michael Trott. The Ohio State men's soccer season is coming to a close, and the Buckeyes are headed into the Big Ten tournament with an 8-6-4 and four record. Kaylee has an in-depth look at how the Buckeyes are doing this season. The Ohio State men's soccer team now ranked 22nd in the NCAA RPI rankings, having consistently improving throughout the Big Ten Conference. The Buckeyes started out their season strong, defeating the Northwestern Wildcats in their first Big Ten matchup. The Buckeyes beat the Wildcats 2-0, granting senior goalkeeper Alex Ivanoff the shutout. This was the Buckeyes' first regular season victory against the Wildcats since 2005. Junior defenseman Liam Doyle and junior midfielder Kyle Culbertson had the goals for the Buckeyes, and they shared their views on the match and their team's play. Definitely a nice feeling, for sure. I think the win feels a lot better, though. I think to get that one and get to start off 1-0 in the conference, I think, was big for us. And I think it's really exciting going here and stepping into the conference, knowing that we can step out here and challenge. I think we were a little underrated in the preseason rankings, and we're too happy about it. But hopefully we'll continue to build on this. I know there's a lot of work still to be done, but we'll get, hopefully get better and continue to get some wins in the conference. Yeah, well, we watched them during the weekend. In the previous games, we'd been struggling offensively, and we've been working on that throughout the weekend. It paid off. 
they played with three in the back, so they left their wide men vulnerable, and we, we got in down the sides because it's hard for that man wide on his own, so that's, that was our game plan. Shin, this is like our, another game together. We're progressing and training every week, and we're just used to each other, and the whole, we're solid as a unit from right from the front to back. The front to back solid unit of the Buckeyes have continued to improve throughout their season. The Buckeyes now sit at second in the Big Ten Conference after defeating the Rutgers Scarlet Knights 4-1 on Saturday, October 25th. The Buckeyes will conclude their regular season by taking on Maryland November 1st and the Michigan Wolverines November 5th. For Buckeye TV, I'm Kaylee Rents. November 5th marked the closing game of the regular season for the men's soccer team, beating that team up north by a score of 2-1. Earning the goals for the Buckeyes were Danny Jensen and Christian Soldat. The men return into action on Sunday, November 9th to begin the Big Ten tournament as they are number two seed in the Big Ten. They will be playing against uh, the Michigan Wolverines in Columbus. They are the number seven team in the conference. Good luck to the Buckeyes this postseason. When we come back, we'll look at an upcoming events at the Ohio Stadium. And I dig into the controversy at Mirror Lake Jump. Uh, stay tuned to Buckeye TV for more.